Well, now that we're a few days into spring, what's spring without a little spring showers? We're not seeing them just yet. We've got them off to our north, also over to our west. But right here at home, we're just seeing a little bit of cloud cover right now, and that's going to be our calm before the storm, if you will. We'll see cloudy conditions for our evening hours. Our high temperatures today, just a little bit of a range. Charleston only getting up to 64 degrees. We'll see Effingham 67, Champaign also 67, and we will see a little bit of a cool down though as we head into Thursday. Now right now our temperatures have dropped off just a little bit thanks to those clouds that have scooted in. 61 right now in Charleston. We will see those cloudy skies throughout the viewing area, and again we've got Danville already down at 60, just waiting to break into the 50s, but we won't quite see that until the day until this evening. Now our wind gusts again, another big story for today. Very high, the strongest gust out of Decatur Day, 29 miles an hour. And we'll see Terre Haute very close, 28, and then Paris, 31. They're actually our high. High gust for today, 30 miles an hour. So very windy again, not quite like yesterday, but those winds will also persist through our Thursday. So tonight, showers move in low of around 57 degrees. We have those winds out of the south for now, 15 to 20 miles an hour, so we will keep things warm, but we will see those showers start to move in. Futurecast right now showing us a little bit of sprinkles right now, not quite yet, mostly cloud cover, but we could see a stray shower overnight. Now the main story when you're waking up, heading off to work or school, that's where we're looking to see our heaviest rain really start to push in as well as those rumbles of thunder. So right now the Storm Prediction Center has us under a marginal risk. Now with that we're expecting the strong wind gusts, chance of hail, heavy rain, but nothing more than that. So again, just be aware of that as you are heading out tomorrow. It's going to start off with lots of rain. Now we will hold on to those scattered and isolated showers. Again, we've got some stronger cells here right around noon. So as you're heading out for lunch, again, those factors like the strong winds and the heavy rain that could really come into effect around noon. So we've got those heavy showers then. And then after that, the showers that are strong really start to taper off. We'll continue to see some scattered showers for our evening hours on a Thursday, but for the most part, the heavier stuff will be out of the area. So again, overnight, we'll start to see those clouds clear up. We actually have a high pressure that's moving in for our Friday. So just in time for the weekend, we are looking at some clearing for our skies for our Friday. So for our seven day forecast, I'll just skip ahead to that. We will see that we've got some cooler conditions coming to the viewing area throughout the day on Thursday. Those temperatures are actually expected to drop off. We've got that cold front that's pushing those showers through, so we will see a high of 60 at about noon, but we will drop off to about the 50s. And then on Friday, we will also see those 50 degree temperatures, but just so you have, you're aware, Thursday night into Friday, if you look at that, right around freezing for our low. So for any of you that have those potted plants out just yet, you might want to bring those in. It's going to be a very chilly night from Thursday into Friday. Now, luckily with that sunshine, we do see a bit of a warming as we head from Friday into Saturday, back into the 60s, plenty of sunshine, but main concern for those Easter egg hunters out there on Sunday, there's a slight chance of showers. So Lacey, just in case people are worried for tomorrow, it's not going to be anything too severe. That's right, marginal risk. So we're just looking at the heavy rain and then also strong winds, slight chance of hail.